When we look back at history, 1978 when this announcement was made, taking back 1,000, 5,000 and 10,000 rupees out of circulation, which did not create so much of problem like it is creating today. R.K. Lakshman wrote, drew a cartoon which indicates that for catching a rat, you are burning the house. And this is exactly what is happening today. The first day, on ninth night, after arranging currency, because suddenly you said that you cannot use the 500 and 1000, it has to be segregated and you can use only the 100 rupee note for exchange the next day. At Gadampur branch in Uttar Pradesh, four officers, three clerks, working up to 9.30 in the night, uh, segregating the currency, they hired a van to return back and when they were returning back, met with an accident, along with the driver, all of them died. So far, 11 bankers have died during this period because of this difficulty. There is no proper planning. Even today, we don't know when we will get 500 rupees note in South. I have seen the 500 note only today after coming to Delhi State Bank of India. And without 46% of the money which is in 500 rupee currency, how do we cater to the need of the people? Dr. K. C. Chakravarti, who had been Deputy Governor in RBI for five years, has given a statement saying that it is a futile exercise. He does not have the experience of working with IMO, like Urjit Patel, Dr. Urjit Patel. He does not have the experience of working with Reliance. He does not have the experience of working with Boston Consultancy Group. But he says that it is a futile exercise with his experience. The governor does not make statement, but the other people are saying that we have sufficient money. Do you know what actually we are doing in the branch? On 10th, when we went to Reserve Bank of India, Chennai, saying that we don't have 100 rupee currency adequate, Reserve Bank of India gave us 50 crores of soil note, which is supposed to be not issued, non-issuable notes. And that we had to take back, segregate what is reissuable, some only 10% or 20% you can start out and we had to start issuing. And till date we have not got 100 rupee currency and state there are adequate statistics saying that only 9.6% of the currency is in the denomination of 100 and we don't know when we will get that 100 rupee. And recalibration of ATMs. They said two days you close the ATMs and after that you can open and start paying. Without currency, how do we pay? And then only we come to know that the note is of a different size. 2,000 rupee note we cannot load because it's a different size. And it has to be recalibrated. Until now only some 20,000 ATMs have been recalibrated. The FM says that every day you have to do 12,500. Even if we do 12,500, it will take 16 days for us to complete all the recalibration. And once 500 rupee note comes, which is of a smaller size than 2000 rupee note, again you have to do recalibration for that note. Great journalists are here. I would like to appeal to you. Should we not demand resignation of the Reserve Bank Governor? You are talking about digitalization, cashless economy. In a country where 23% of the people are illiterate, in a country where only 10% of the people can read and write, in a country where 8.43 crores of students who are eligible to be in the schooling system are out of school, how do you expect that digitalization will work? The mobile banking, internet banking, everything is in English. And you expect us people. As per the socio-economic survey, 
92% of the households, the head of the family's income is less than 10,000. 78% of the people it is less than 5,000 and we expect all these people to move over to a cashless economy. Now, I would like you also to do some analysis of certain things which have happened. 2014, before this government came into power, now you all know, reading the newspapers, where is this black money and it is not that 6% of the cash. The foreign remittance allowed for an ordinary Indian was $75,000. Last year it was increased to $125,000. And now it is $2,50,000. Equivalent to 2 crore rupees. Anybody can remit abroad. What is happening to this money? Who is sending this money? RBI has the data. And what are they doing with that? Can't you find out where is this black money going? Which islands? Journalist Hamish MacDonald has written a book, Ambani and Sons, where he has narrated how Ambani brothers, starting from his, their father, Dhruvai Ambani, had been sending out money and doing circulation there and bringing it back through Cayman Island and the other islands. Have we done anything for that? And today we are told that you have to send a report promptly that 2 lakh 50 thousand on the above, anybody is depositing as cash, it should be reported. This is not something new. For years together we are submitting the data of 10 lakhs and above. What are they doing with that? Can't they find out who has this black money? That has not been done. Now, 2,000 rupee notes were supplied to us many days before 8th November. It was not announced, so it was sent as boxes and currency chests of the banks were asked to hold it without entering it in any register. That is, we enter it in a record called currency chest register. We have to find out how much was printed and how much has really come into circulation. And today we are talking about, the finance minister says that this is going to help augment the capital of these banks because they are short of money, short of capital and we don't have money to give. In what way this money is going to augment the capital of the banks? If the capital has to be improved, you have to really attack the NPA. And you are not willing to even disclose the names of people who have defaulted. The Supreme Court says that 52 people have defaulted, willful defaulters, 87,000 crores. That name we are not willing to publish. And the NPA, February 2016, Parliamentary Standing Committee submitted a report on what is to be done for NPA. Till now nothing has been done. Not a single action has been taken on that. And how are we going to really augment the capital? This is going to be actually a liability. And this money change, it is not going to be over within December 30th. People who have got 2000 notes, as Comrade A.K. Bhatmanavan was saying, they are not able to use it. They are going to come back asking us, give us 100 rupee note. So, people of the country have to question.